going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Code You Find Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, we're reviewing the Micro Mini Franco chains versus the Jacoji links. Why? Because these are the best chains to pair with small pendants. And honestly, Raquel and I spent the most time working on this video compared to any other video we've made. Um, and not a lot of jewelers get excited about making videos on two to five gram chains. But this is very important and we're gonna show you all the B-rolls and give our recommendations. With that being said, let's get started. First things first, the Jacoji Link and the Franco do something very well and that's hold a pendant. They're durable chains and comfortable to wear. That is why they are popular and that is why we're making this video today because the smaller sizes are good for those smaller size pendants. We're gonna break it down. On the left, we have the one millimeter Jacoji Link versus the one millimeter diamond cut Franco on the right. Now, in my notes, doing these B-rolls, working with these chains, there is a difference, I feel, between the one millimeter Jacoji Link and the one millimeter Franco. The one millimeter Jacoji Link, very dainty. I would recommend it for women only. And the one millimeter Jacoji Link is slightly thicker, has a little bit more weight and feel to it, so you can get away with the smaller pen if you're a guy. Let's compare that to the 1.2 millimeter Jacoji Link on the left and the 1.2 millimeter Franco on the right. When I was doing these B-rolls, I said, Raquel, write this down. These look about the same and feel about the same. So if you're comparing that 1.2 millimeter versus each other, the Jacoji Link and the Franco, in my opinion, my recommendation, they both look and feel about the same as far as the size and overall feel. The theme of this video is pairing with pendants. So let's see these chains with pendants. The one millimeter Jacoji Link a white gold has the mini line on it on the left and the one millimeter Franco in yellow gold with the mini line. I want to use the same size pendant so you guys can see a sizing reference. And the mini line, the Jacoji pieces are solid and kind of heavy for the size that they are. You can of course get away with a tiny size. The mini lines are three quarters inch or about an inch. They're small size. You can go even smaller with these, especially that one millimeter Jacoji Link. Like I said, very dainty chain. So if you have a smaller pendant, it works perfect for that. Now let's take a look at the 1.2 millimeter size Jacoji Links and Franco. We got the 1.2 millimeter Jacoji Link on the left with that same white gold mini line and the 1.2 millimeter diamond cut Franco with the mini line. Now I like these pairings right here, but I just want to show you guys a pendant with them. The mini size is very popular just because of that overall size and I would recommend these size chains for a pendant of this size. And importantly, the weight. It's not only about the size of the pendant, the dimensions, but the weight. You don't want a pendant that is too heavy for a chain, but these are around four or five grams and they are good for either size of chains. Bump it up a little bit, especially for the guys. I put the standard lines on the 1.2 millimeter chain. So we have the 1.2 millimeter Jacoji Link in white gold with the standard line and the standard lines around 10 grams. So that's a pretty heavy pendant for what it is. And then we have the 1.2 millimeter diamond cut Franco yellow gold with that same standard line. So slightly bigger pendants. And I mentioned we've been using for years and years and years for these size pendants, the 1.2 millimeter diamond cut Franco is always the go-to. It's an easy, a very nice chain for what it is and it does well holding kind of heavier pendants like these standard lines relatively speaking, of course. So if you want to go up in size a little bit, as far as the weight and dimensions, these 1.2 millimeters can hold these pendants just fine. Now let's take a look at how these smaller chains look on neck. And for the women, Raquel's got on the one millimeter Jacoji Link rose gold with the tiny line. And when I said that the one millimeter Jacoji Link is dainty, I mean it. This is for small charm size, which a tiny size Jacoji pendant is quarter inch max. That's what you're looking for. We're not saying that you're going to buy all your pendants from Jacoji.com. There's millions of pendants out there. We just want to give you sizing reference, how it's going to look. She also has the mini diamond tennis chain, which will be available when you're watching this in the women's section. She has that at 16 inches. So she has that same length layering look. I say it applies no matter if you're women or men. It's the same concepts, same no matter what the length is. So she has both at the same length because of the pendant drops slightly be below that mini diamond necklace. She also in the next look has the one millimeter yellow gold Franco 18 inch with a small oval pendant and that provides a slight drop. The oval pendant, a religious pendant, we're bringing more of these. This is kind of foreshadow a preview of some of the stuff we're going to be bringing 
bringing. Um, we got these in as sample. We're going to order them and put them in stock and make full reviews. Of course, like we do, this shows the separation be between her mini diamond necklace 16 inch and then drop slightly below, but it has that one millimeter Franco. Again, has that dainty look with a slightly bigger pendant so you guys can see the layering look there. Let's take a look on the 1.2 millimeter size look on Raquel's neck. We got the 1.2 millimeter Jacoja link with a square religious pendant. It's about one inch and that's at the 16 inch length. And then we dropped a 1.2 millimeter diamond cut Franco white gold paired with a one one quarter spiral cross these spiral cross we're going to be bringing it's hollow we'll make a full review of course but you can see the layering look so it has slightly thicker look but we upped those charm sizes a little bit to accommodate that and again i've been talking about this a lot it really depends on your preference do you want a smaller charm with a thicker chain or do you want it to be more proportional or do you want a thinner chain with a bigger charm that is your styling preference we just kind of want to show how we would wear them how we like them and you make the decision yourself so Either way, for a female, these look dainty and you could pull them off for smaller size pendants as Raquel did in these B-roll. Let's see how these smaller chains look around my neck and I did not put the one millimeter Jacoji link on. I don't think it's for men, but if you want a super thin dainty chain, go for it. The Jacoji links at any length, I'm very confident and will back them with pendants, but I think the minimum for a Jacoji link for a guy, at least for me, is 1.2 millimeters. So you can make your choice. But I did put the one millimeter diamond cut Franco at 20 inches with a mini line. Would I wear a one millimeter diamond cut Franco? I would not, but I do think it's slightly bigger than that one millimeter Koji link, so you can get by with it. I don't see a problem, and I'm a bigger guy, so it, that's just, it doesn't work, but it is durable enough. I would be confident I'm wearing a one millimeter Franco with a mini line any day of the week. It just doesn't work for me. So let's step it up to the 1.2 millimeter diamond cut Franco. I put it at 24 inches with the standard Lion, and again, 1.2 millimeter Franco does really well with these size uh, pendants and below. And then I also have the 1.2 millimeter Jacoja link 20 inch. I don't know why I said this backwards, but the shorter chain is the 1.2 millimeter Jacoja link 20 inch with a round St. Christopher pendant. That is around a half inch. So it's a small little medallion pendant. These are lightweight. Again, we're going to bring these to the website. I just want to show you guys different looks. They don't always have to be Jacoji pendants, like I said, but the main topic and theme and point of this video is to kind of talk about these smaller chains for pendants. So I layered those two right there. And again, perfect for those. The main difference between a Franco Jacoji, this could be a different video where we show thicker sizes so you guys could really see, but in my opinion, they're, the, they're made from the same manufacturer. The, they are the best quality chains in the world, just different style. If you want slightly something a little more unique and designer touch, Jacoji Link. If you want something classic and just an everyday chain, the Franco, of course, but not a bad choice. We want to take the time to show the B-roll, show the side-by-sides to compare these two. At the end of the day, they are winners for pairing with pendants, and you'll definitely be happy with it. We sell a lot of them for the right reasons. Let me know down below what you think. Would you go with the Jacoji link or the Franco? That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on our next jewelry video.